Yes. So yeah. he did. He wasn't born with it. This ain't no. Maybelline. <laughs> right. Hello, dear friends. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the Majestic Family Channel. Uh huh. My name's Jory. This is my lovely wife. Vitame or B. Make sure you have subscribed to our channel and comment down below so we can stay in touch. Don't forget to like, share, and turn on your notification bell so, so you know when a new video, video comes, comes out. out. Thank you. Today we've got Today, something. Something. A little something for y'all. Yes, this is called Tips for Black Women. Why um, you should never marry a white guy. Why you should never. So this, <laughs> this video really is a, a response to yes. our videos that almost has a hundred thousand views yeah thank you thank you thank you yes um we've read all the comments <laughs> all 500 plus of it to all of them yes <laughs> and we saw a reoccurring theme mm -hmm. um as far as white men are concerned yes. so we wanted to address that a little bit in mm -hmm. this video so if you're interested mm -hmm. as we enter that topic a little more come along with us that's right All right, we're going to be giving you five reasons five. why you should never marry a white guy. All right, number one reason why you should never marry a white guy. Mm -hmm. If you think he will always be romantic, mm -hmm. you shouldn't marry a white guy. Or if you think he's going to be more romantic than someone than, else of another culture right. or skin color. Just because he's white. Right. Baby. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Oh, hey. no, no, no. Hold on now. Hold on. <laughs> Let me just jo say, I'm a work in progress. Jory is romantic, <laughs> but he's not romantic all the time. Right. Um, and so, it we don't want to give the wrong impression. Right. Um, right. We want to make sure we're, you know, we put out there what is consistent with who we are. Yeah, we want to be honest. And we're, yeah, mm -hmm. if, if I'm honest, Jory does bring me flowers. Like, just <laughs> out of the blue, will bring me flowers. Yeah. Um, and yeah, he'll do little things here and there. And when we were like dating or newly married, oh. it was a little different. Uh, mm -hmm. It was more of those things. Yeah. But after children, your focus changes. <laughs> like you have to be much more intentional. Yeah. And that goes for anyone. And right. I'll be the first to admit that it doesn't. It didn't come natural for me. Right. To be romantic, I. I have to work against the grain mm -hmm. and really think about it right. to, to do it. And now, I have to, sorry baby, yeah. to interrupt you. And I also had to tell him what I, what things I like. Right. So it wasn't like one day, like <laughs> after his parents birthed them and he grew up and like, boom, he's romantic. Right. Like, uh, he knows how to make me feel happy. Uh, he knows what those things are. Sometimes it's a matter of reminding. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. I I definitely have had to grow into yeah. those things. Yes. So yeah. he did. He wasn't born with it. This ain't no. Maybelline. <laughs> right. So when it when it comes to you know black guys, white guys, right. Asian guys, Hispanic guys, mm -hmm. doesn't matter. You name it, guys. Mm -hmm. um, it just depends on the individual guy, whether he's right. romantic or not. Right. And some will be better at it than others, but right. understand that that is something you can grow into. Absolutely. So, but don't jump into a relationship with a white guy just because you think, right. oh, he's going to be so, so romantic, romantic all the time. <laughs> no, yeah. he's he's a guy like any other guy. Yes. And so, yeah, we're all, we're all different. Trying. Yeah. yeah. And so when it comes to being romantic, a lot of it depends on upbringing and personality. Yep. If a young man saw his father being romantic toward his mother, right. then that's something that he will have picked up. Picked up yeah. And you know, if his personality lends itself, that's another thing that right. could help him be more that way. Right. That doesn't write off the guys that aren't naturally that way, but right. some guys can have more of a leaning toward that. that. Yeah, and then be a little better at it. Right. I had a friend, uh, we had a friend, mm -hmm. they were a black couple, mm -hmm. and like, he actually planned their entire wedding like <laughs> chose her wedding dress mm -hmm. um like told her where to be had the makeup artist and hair artist yeah, like he nailed like it. ready yeah, to sure. go and she walked down this fairy tale wedding so it was just <laughs> like he's black guy yeah so yeah. like to write someone off just because He's black or Indian or Asian. It's right. kind of very narrow-minded, right? Uh, for the lack of better words, but we just want you guys to be more open yes. and open in the sense of if he fears the Lord, <laughs> if he fears the Lord, that should be like that's, the that's a great. Start. That's the that's the <laughs> that's the highest start. Right. 
Yeah, that's the highest standard for yeah, sure. Yeah, because everything else will fall into place. Yeah. Um, and we, we yeah. may be able to do some more videos. I'm thinking about some ideas for mm. things things about compatibility and oh, such. Oh, look at Mr. That, Amundsen! That we, could, that we could address, but let's get on with our list. You yes. ready? <laughs> Number two is if you think he's just bullet and he's going to fix all your financial problems. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not going to happen because... Um, it won't always happen. No, my <laughs> hubby here pulled up in a Chevette to pick me up. 1982 Chevy Chevette. I was like, you couldn't even borrow your mama's car? Like, for real? <laughs> my car was two-tone. It was red and rust. <laughs> also, when we would be on the highway, we couldn't converse yes. because it was so no. loud. Yeah. My muffler was a little hodgepodge, a little, a little old. A and little. <laughs> one day I pulled into, one day I pulled into the gas station to get gas, and I hear so, like a clunk. And I look out my rearview mirror, and I see my muffler rolling out through the parking lot, literally rolling away from my car. And I never really bothered to get it fixed because it was such an old car. But needless to say, it was extremely loud. It was so loud. <laughs> Another thing was like he would. Jory's uh, naturally a fast driver, <laughs> so like I have Shh. to. <laughs> I have to say, babe, like, do you even know how like? how fast you're going and i look over and the thing's not moving yeah, my speedometer like did not work yeah. <laughs> the heating system also didn't work like so it was in the winter you would like have to put me in like several blankets to bundle me up oh my gosh <laughs> i think what it was is i couldn't the adjustment i couldn't do it from defrost to heat oh. so i just kept it on defrost because i wanted to be able to see yeah, out the windows where we're going. so your feet would just freeze yes yeah. and i was like really tiny when we were dating uh -huh. and so i got cold fairly easily so I, like <laughs> and african <laughs> right we like heat you like the heat yeah so like yeah please yeah. believe that i was not rich at all when I met no everything all. we have that god has allowed us to have yeah. has been through our um being together yeah, and working yeah. as like a teammate. That's true. Right? We, as team. We've just done life together, together. from the jump. Yeah, yeah that's mm -hmm. right. So Jory not being wealthy didn't have anything to do with his potential or anything like that. Mm -hmm. It was just the stage of life, like where he was at. Yeah, we he was really a student. Honest. Yeah, I was a student, like newly in college. So you're not expected to have a whole bunch right. unless you came from a really wealthy, wealthy family. family. Yeah. Yes, but like your <clears throat> average Joe, right. like starting out, you're not gonna have a lot. So right. like. I knew where he wanted to be. I knew where I wanted to be. Mm -hmm. So, like, I wasn't expecting him to have a whole bunch of money. Yeah. <laughs> so, Good like, thing. yeah, yeah. It <laughs> depends on the stage of a person's life. So, don't write off right. somebody who is starting out and they can't afford anything. And um, you shouldn't get with them just because he's white. And you should not totally like write him off because he's black and he doesn't right. have a vehicle right. or doesn't have enough money because yeah. you don't know what you're missing out <laughs> right get to know the person please yeah. believe that yeah at some point that person's ship may come in right and if you've recognized that they have great potential or right. you know Hard all working. these good qualities yeah. that they have and you're with them that's you boo <laughs> right and then also like our pastor back in south carolina used to say some days the stocks are up right some days the stocks right. are down don't leave so someone when the stocks are down when yeah. they're down yeah. so just like uh, other things this depends on the individual mm -hmm. and their knowledge and the application of that knowledge so right. finances is right. very much about whether you can be disciplined right and whether you understand what it takes to do well financially right so because of uh, what does the Bible say? My people perish for lack, lack of knowledge. knowledge. Yeah. So there are some fantastic financial gurus that are black. That's right. My hat's off to you guys. You inspire me. Yeah. And um, do not think that skin color has anything to do with being yeah. good at finances. Finances. My brother's one of those just, gurus. Because it's just, yeah, yeah. We've, yeah. we've got Ben May's brother in New York killing the game. Yeah. So, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> also, I wanted to say about what you had mentioned about finances. Also, if you meet like a guy who's not good at finances, mm -hmm. but you are, that's a perfect match. Sure. Yeah. He'll have yeah. strengths. You'll He'll have, have strengths. Yeah. 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 Vice versa. But yeah. you shouldn't write him off because he doesn't have 
all his stuff right. figured out because right. nobody really does. That's it, yeah. And it's not fair to completely just like, right. no, I'm not talking to him. Like, yeah. he doesn't have X, Y, and Z. Like, yeah, are they, I yeah. guess, look at the person and see if they're willing right. to, to learn and to do better. Exactly, and, yeah. 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 If they're not hard-headed, that's a good thing. That's a that good means sign. someone yeah. is teachable. Yep. Yeah. They're, they're moving and dynamic and they can right. be, you know, get into the right position. That's right. All right. Number three reason, mm -hmm. you should never marry a white guy just because you've had a bad experience with black men. Mm -hmm. One black man. Right. <laughs> you haven't dated every single black person, man in the planet of the earth, mm -hmm. so you don't want to generalize like Right. Don't, a don't stereotype yeah. based on one experience. It's yeah. just not healthy. It's not good at all. Like there are There are great... Black guys, there are great white guys, there are not so great black guys, not so great white guys. Yeah, they Period. don't have it and, together. And guys of any sort. That's right. Color or race or, or race. nationality. Yeah. So it's just not fair to lump everyone together based on only one or two experiences. Right. Um, maybe it's the area you're in um, that you're running into similar traits. Uh, right. Maybe it's you that there's something about you need to look at and say, what why am it? I finding myself attracted to certain types of guys? Or why am I attracting certain types of guys? Um, but just to say that uh, it's not fair mm -hmm. to say, you know, I had a bad experience with a black guy, so white guys are the answer. The answer because they're not. Right. Guys are guys, period. Right. Right. And so it's not fair to just, you know, totally go in another direction. Mm -hmm. um, just because you think things are going to be so much better based on skin color. Right. You may find that you run into the very same traits and problems uh, just in a different color. Right, exactly. Oh. That was a good point. Absolutely. So. Number four, if you see another black woman with a white chocolate and he <laughs> treats her very well or they have a really good relationship, mm -hmm. that is not a reason for you to go out searching specifically for a white man. Right. Because you don't know um what, what it took what lies beneath right <laughs> you don't know what it took to build a relationship right. they have right and you don't know everything about their lives in terms of you know relationships with other people or right what prejudices have they had to you know Overcome. navigate through yeah. so like we were watching something it was a uh, about an interracial couple mm -hmm. and she the lady they've been married over 60 years and yeah. the lady said that um the husband's family the dad specifically right. like rejected um uh, her husband yeah and as a result they had to build their own tribe right um yeah and that is so sad but like they have a good relationship but yeah, i don't do. want what she had um, so I wasn't specifically looking for um, a white guy. I right. wanted what God had for me and what I thought would be good for me. Right. So, anyways. Yeah, I don't think either of us set out to find... Each other. Yeah, the opposite race, race or nationality or color. Right. I think it was just that... Well, for me, I found you very attractive. Well, thank you. To start <laughs> with. And when I got to know you, I was like... She's amazing. Aww. So that's that's just where it was. And I, I like I tell people, I had some questions early on from friends, you know, and they would say, you know, why did you why did you marry a black girl or why did you want a black girl? And I said, well, that's not really looking at it the right way. Mm -hmm. um, I I found in Bename the perfect match for me, mm -hmm. and she happened to be black. Mm -hmm. Had Bename been white? And the perfect right. match for me, mm -hmm. I still would have married her. That's right. So that's the way it worked out. And not every story is the same. The and, not, same. And, right. and the chemistry is not going to be the same for every right. set of people. Right. So just be careful with that. Yes, it's fantastic for us. Yeah. We have our hard times. We have our arguments. Mm -hmm. We go through everything another couple a might. Couple does, yeah, yeah, or at least most things, I think. Yeah. But, I mean, you can't just look at us and say, Oh wow, that's amazing. That's perfect. That's what I want. Right. Because everyone's story is different. It's different. And you don't see the grind of like working through issues and yeah. all yep. the stuff. So yeah. yeah. Putting God um first and letting God be the anchor mm -hmm. um in any relationship yeah. is is the answer. Yeah, and yeah. that's not just a yeah. cliche. We no, really No, we really that. do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like I always tell um people when Jory's like 
getting on my nerves. Like, <laughs> or he says something, I'm like, oh, that was just so wrong. Like, I don't, I used to not go tell him, like, that was wrong. Why would you say that? I would just go in my prayer closet, right? And, and be like, like, Jesus, get him, get him wow. <laughs> you know that was wrong. <laughs> A few minutes later, here I come, honey. I'm honey, sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, oh, you all have no problem. And that's the thing. If yeah. you're both in tune with God, if you're both wanting to do right by God, yeah. He's that third strand. The Bible says a threefold cord is not, not easily easy broken. broken. Amen. And so, even if the two of you start to pull apart, if mm -hmm. you're both still holding on to Jesus, mm -hmm. that's going to bring you back, back together. together. And we've seen it happen, you mm -hmm. know, when we would have an argument and yeah. then we'd come back together because we'd pray and then we'd be like, all right, we need to go all talk right. to each yeah. other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, so, yeah. my best friend. Yeah, no best okay, friend. Then. No best friend. All right. Number five. The number five reason why you should never marry a white guy yeah. if you idolize white men. Yeah. Uh, this can be a problem. Yeah. Uh, that you see something and it's like the image of a white man. Yeah. In your mind, it's like Perfection. better or yeah. more perfect or something. Yeah. And you know what? I'm here to tell you, it's a facade. Yeah. That there are great white guys out there, but there are just as many great black guys. Yeah. And don't believe that facade for a moment. For a moment. Don't yeah. miss out on a on a wonderful thing right next to you because you're too busy fixated on an image that's not real. Right. So God may have the perfect black guy, Hispanic guy, Asian guy, any other nationality right there, but you're too worried about trying to get a white guy that you think is perfect mm -hmm. and you miss out. Right. So and nobody, mean, sorry, go ahead. I'm not going to discount. There are preferences. I get right. it. You, you, might, you might prefer, you're like, I just have this, I just really like. And what? that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. What I'm saying is don't idolize any, any type of guy. Right. Uh, the only person you should put on any type of pedestal, pedestal. is Messiah, is Jesus. Yeshua Messiah and God. That's and it. so, and quite honestly, and I know it may sound like a cliche when we're commenting back to you with replies when you say, you know, right. how do I find the right person? And we're like, you need to talk to God. Right. We're not just giving you a, a quick answer. This right. is really this what, is we, what believe. we Yeah. Because my parents prayed when oh, I was yeah. growing up. They prayed for my wife, my future wife. When I was a little mm -hmm. boy, they would pray for that. Mm -hmm. So I learned to pray for that too. Lord, give me the right wife. Mm -hmm. Biname, when she would, just before she met me, she said, God, I'm just going to focus on you. I'm not going to worry about guys. Mm -hmm. And it was almost like that's all he needed. For her to give over the control of her love mm -hmm, life. Mm -hmm. And then we met each other. Right. And I'm not saying that's going to be the same for everybody either. But I think if if you right. first of all yeah. give it to God yeah. and trust Him, that's the best place to be in. Yeah. And He won't bring you the white guy. He'll bring you the, the right, right guy. guy. Yeah. And that's what's really important. Yeah, and like If he's white, cool. Right. If, if not, fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Like, I also pray, too. Like, I told Jory I would remember, like, certain holidays when we used to celebrate. And I would just, yeah. like, oh, where is he? Like, what is he doing? <laughs> Wishing and you I were would, with someone. Yeah, I would pray. I would start praying, uh -huh. like, Lord, you know. And that's when my list came about. Like, what do I want? What do you like, want in what, the guy? Yeah, yeah, like, what is most important to me? <laughs> and um, knowing the Lord and fearing the Lord was number one. And yeah. so when Jory and I were taking our um, uh, premarital counseling, mm -hmm we took some sort of test and then that test like our number <laughs> yeah. one comp compatibility, compatibility yeah. was Christ yeah yeah so like that is what is at the core of our relationship yes. was yeah. one of those comp com compatibility com compatibility <laughs> oh, to say, say that. that 10 times fast no <laughs> <laughs> So yes, we just kind of wanted to make this video because it kind of broke my heart yes. reading some of the comments because yeah. I'm just like, right. Um. We want to be clear. You don't see everything. Yeah. You know what I mean? You do get to see our vlogs and a little bit of our real life. But that's a um, small it portion is. of our life. Like yeah. it's really small. Yeah. Um, and, and if yeah. you're, if you're, you know, I'm not saying don't be interested in a white guy or, right. or having an interracial relationship. Yeah. Just keep your mind open and your heart even more open to God. Absolutely. And let him direct your steps. All right. So this was our list of tips for black women. Mm -hmm. Why you should never marry a white guy. Mm -hmm. Hopefully this was helpful and brings a little perspective to the topic. Yes. We love you guys. We appreciate all your views, all yes. your comments. Yes, yes, yes. We are so happy that so many of you have joined us in the last month. Welcome, it's been welcome. Fantastic. It has. So welcome to the channel. 
-hmm. and uh, just understand that as a majestic family, we want to represent God the best we can. Amen. Understand that you are made in the image of God, uh -huh. and that you're given an opportunity to join the family of God by adoption through Jesus Christ, through Messiah. Absolutely. So if you haven't already given your life to Jesus, do so. Mm -hmm. So uh, thanks so much for joining us. And with that, dear friends, keep, keep looking, looking up. up. Number one. <laughs> <laughs> Should I do it again? Yes.